I'm Dr. Melanie Goldfarb. I'm the director for the Center for Endocrine Tumors and Disorders at Providence St. John's Cancer Institute and Health Center. I am an endocrine surgeon by training with more than 10 years of experience uh, treating surgical endocrine disorders of the thyroid, parathyroid, and adrenal. And today we're gonna to talk about radiofrequency ablation of the thyroid, which is a novel and new technique for benign thyroid nodules. So a lot of people uh, have benign thyroid nodules. It's very common. Uh, postmenopausal women, 50 to 70 percent of people, even in men, 30 to 40 percent. Not all of them are big, not all of them are symptomatic, but some of them are. And for those people that have either an unsightly nodule or a nodule that's big enough to cause them symptoms such as problems swallowing, a chronic cough, problems lying down and breathing at night. In the past, all we had to offer was surgery with removal of, let's say, half of your thyroid. Today, I have a new procedure to offer those patients that is not surgical. This is radiofrequency ablation. And what we do is uh, stick a probe into the nodule of the thyroid and deliver radiofrequency energy that will kill that benign thyroid tissue within the nodule and your body will gradually reabsorb it, therefore shrinking the nodule. This procedure and technology has been in use for years in tumors of the liver and other parts of the body, but it's only been used in the thyroid in the US for about two years. I was excited to do some of my first procedures last month here at Providence St. John's. Uh, it was a long time in coming, but we uh, are now one of the only centers in the Southwest and the West Coast to offer this new and novel procedure for patients. The patients uh, tolerated it very well with just a little bit of local anesthetic and some Valium. Um, they put some music on and while we were doing it and then they walked out of there. Um, so I'm really encouraged by not only my first group of patients, but from my colleagues uh, on the other coast. And I think this is a wave of the future for as we offer more, not only minimally invasive surgical techniques, but minimally invasive non-surgical techniques for treatment of benign disease. If you have a benign thyroid nodule or a thyroid nodule in general and want to know if you're a candidate for RFA, the process involves coming to see me in the clinic. We do an ultrasound right there in the clinic where I do it and I show it to you while you're sitting there to see what we're looking at. To be a candidate for radiofrequency ablation, you need to have two separate benign biopsies. So some people will come to me already having been biopsied multiple times and I don't need to do another one. Other people, we need to do the biopsy. So once we've proven, not once, but twice, that this is definitely benign, then you can be a candidate for the radio frequency. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then we get you set up, we talk about um, what the risks and benefits of the procedure are, and we bring you in for the procedure day. What are the risks and benefits? So the benefits are shrinkage of the nodule. We talk about efficacy from the European and Asian studies of 75% of people have a greater than 50% or more reduction with most people having more than 75% reduction in size so that they are have a great satisfaction score with a better cosmesis or symptoms. There are of course some patients that um, mostly those with the really large nodules that this doesn't shrink it enough and need to have a second procedure in order to get enough shrinkage. But so far, most people have seen pretty good results. As part of the, your discussion with the team of experts, this is not appropriate for people with cancer or for suspicious thyroid nodules at this current time, mainly because we really have no data on what can happen to cancer cells once they uh, are subjected to radio frequency waves in the thyroid. So if you have a thyroid cancer, this is not for you. If you have a suspicious thyroid nodule, this is currently not for you. And you should then be talking to an expert surgeon about what are your options, whether they be surgery or surveillance. As you are figuring out if you're a candidate for this treatment, it's really important to see uh, either an individual or a team of experts that can really give you your options and the risks and benefits of all of them. 
I myself um, have training in endocrine surgery, which means I know the surgical parts of the disease, but I also, as part of my training, do endocrinology, and I do all my own ultrasounds and all my own biopsies in the clinic every day. So this is what I'm doing day in and day out. Um, there are some endocrinologists, other endocrine surgeons, interventional radiologists that may have this expertise as well, but really you want somebody who has thyroid and thyroid nodule workup is a big part of their practice. So they can guide you in what all of your options are and what you can expect from this procedure. And maybe this procedure isn't for you. You want someone or a team of experts that can really best counsel you on what the best treatment is for your nodules.